Hi everyone, so I'm here to show you my new backpack. This is the, what is it called? The DSLR Pro Pack that fits a MacBook Pro 15 inch by Incase. So essentially what I needed was to replace my old Low Pro Flipside 200. This dude right here, pretty popular bag. Um, but as you can see, it's kind of limited on my ever-growing gear amount. Um, just to show you what, I'm, what I have right now is, get that out of there. That's the compartment for the main body. This is the section I was using to hold my point and shoot. And this is obviously my mic and very limited storage as far as any accessories, batteries, extra cards, whatnot, cables. And on the outside, it does have uh, a little loop for the tripod, which is kind of weird because it's here and if the tripod's on it, I would have to, if I were laid on, on, its, on its front to open this, it's lopsided, gets kind of awkward and it's never really stable. So either way, I grew out of this bag. Well, maybe not grew out of it, but um, I needed something a little bit larger to carry more accessories and sometimes my laptop with me. So that's why I looked for this guy, but in case, and it does have a larger compartment for the camera itself. Don't worry, I've opened this before. <laughs> Ta-da! like an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, not really. But it's designed to put your main body right here with this, with a medium lens attached right here. So you can get to your camera body that way. And also there's a quick access door here on the top. Like so. So I have my trusty Panasonic Micro Four Thirds G85 right here, not a large camera. And see how that fits right there. Oh, please don't drop it. So let me close that. And show you the other access point, access door, whatever you want to call it. And there it is. And all these dividers are Velcro attached so that you can remove them, configure them however you want. Okay, let me take that out so I don't risk of dropping it some miraculous way because that's what I do. Let me show you the compartment for, it says a MacBook 15, but I don't use a MacBook. Um, I like Windows platforms. I tried Apple computers a very long time ago, didn't like them. Uh, shoe stuff. You just have to find your shoes. And that's the compartment for the laptop itself. Let me see if my main traveling laptop can fit in there. This is a very sexy Lenovo 15.6 inch screen. Fits nice. For size comparisons, this is it next to the Low Pro Flipside 200. Okay, let me take this laptop out. One other feature it does have is it has a holder for a tripod, which I have not tried out yet. I do have my tripod here. Next to me to see how this fits or doesn't fit. Hmm. 
Now, interesting, the there is no way to fully undo these straps. They're closed. There you go, fits nicely. It will throw your bag off balance, obviously, but you know, you can't have everything in the world. But I like it, I think it's a better location versus the bag that it came from. You know, I'm just gonna leave that on there for demonstration purposes. But in conclusion, uh, this bag will, this, stop. In conclusion, this bag will work great for me. It has all the storage where I can hold my point and shoot, my extra chargers, my mobile batteries, other cables and whatnot, and most importantly, a bag where I can carry my laptop and my camera in one bag without having to carry two separate bags which drove me nuts when I go on set or on location wherever I'm going. One other thing I want to show you is this bottom location right here. Looks like I can fit another Micro Four Thirds body. So let me try that out real quick. Where are you? Okay, here you are. Yes, it does. Oh, please don't fall out. <laughs> so there you go. It can fit one body right there and another small one right there. I think this will work. And of course, it has a bunch of pockets and stuff right here. Carry your smaller accessories and whatnot. Drugs. Okay, not drugs. Okay, so how does this look when an actual person wears it? One way to find out. Ah. That's me wearing the backpack. That's the backpack wearing me, whichever you want to call it. So what do I think about it? It's a great build quality, good bag by Incase. I'm surprised I didn't have any more options as far as carrying DSLRs and other larger cameras, they have an assortment of carrying GoPro stuff, which is neat, but I think they need to expand the line as far as larger cameras. Um, I got this one off Amazon, I forgot how much it was, but if you want to take a look, it's in the link below. Anywho, thanks for checking out the video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, I do appreciate it. Alright, so next time, see you later.